Word around town is the Travis Scott Nike SB is restocking in September. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the sneaker, giving you guys a detailed look at the shoe and talk about some of the other potential options when it comes to releases this September as well. So as of right now, there are a lot of rumors when it comes to this release. That doesn't mean that this shoe is guaranteed 100% coming out just yet, but we're also going to talk about a couple different options and scenarios on what could potentially happen this September and how you could prepare for that release. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! So before we get started looking at some more detailed looks at the shoe, we got to talk about the history first. So as we all know, Nike SB has been around for about 20 years now, and there has been a lot of hype through different releases over those years. And as Travis Scott was slowly coming up throughout the game, we saw every single one of his sneakers selling out immediately as soon as they dropped. I'm sure everybody's aware of the Air Jordan releases, but we also had some Air Force One releases coming out during this time as well. This was back in 2018 and 2019. Now shortly after that, in early 2020, before the pandemic, we saw the Travis Scott Nike SB release and I actually didn't get to go to the launch and I wasn't able to grab these for retail so the weekend of that release in particular I happened to be in Vancouver BC and I stopped by one of the skate shops over there to see if people were camping out and this is what it looked like yeah so the line starts right here and it goes all the way up to the corner way up there so I look you don't feel like walking all the way up there but the line goes all the way up to the corners damn who's first in line y'all first in line who first in line like we all are together. Y'all all together? Yeah. How long y'all been here? Last uh last day Monday. Yesterday Monday. Monday? Oh sorry, ten a.m. ten a.m. Ten a.m. on what day? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh okay, so today is Friday. So Thursday? Yeah. So like about forty eight hours camped out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you guys know how many pairs they got? Well, no. So uh, nobody yeah. knows. They got sixty? Somewhere around there. Somewhere around sixty. So did they tell the people back there online? They just know to leave? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Damn, so if you like 60th in line, you just kind of screwed. It's like a crap yeah, shoot. You'll find out tomorrow yeah. morning, I guess. Find out tomorrow morning? Yeah. How long you been out here? Uh, 5 p.m. yesterday. 5 p.m. yesterday? Yeah. Damn, bro. I, I respect the commitment. He got the ones on and everything. Of course, man. Obviously. Hey, I hope Travis see this video. So as you can see, people were definitely dedicated to get the shoe. And right when they came out, they were already reselling for around $1,000. Now, also to mention during this time, we saw the special box pair. Now, literally, the box was the only thing that was different. The shoe was the same. It was just a different box. And because of that, People were asking for close to almost a thousand extra dollars on top of that just because it had a special box. I couldn't justify paying that much extra money just for a different box. Now this is the part where I got some questions for y'all. Do you remember the Travis Scott SB sample? The pair that was kind of all tan and it had the different colors on the uppers and it looked similar, but it was definitely a different type of colorway. So those in particular could potentially be something that could come out in September. Now we heard rumors, again, rumors that the shoe is gonna be restocking, but this draws me to think of the early 2010 time when we saw the Dornbecker 3, those came out in 2010. I remember going to the store, buying those for retail. And then three years later, they retroed the same shoe. It was like a restock, but it was actually a retro. In that particular situation, the Dornbecker 3 came out again in 2013. It had a different box and the whole shape of the shoe was different. So they actually did recreate the sneaker and it felt and looked a little bit different and it was a lot more bulky. And for me, I still ended up getting both for my collection, but I really liked the 2010 pair a lot more because they were just a little bit more slim and I like how they originally came when they first dropped. Now, because of this, it caused the value of the sneaker to go down tremendously because it was a wide restock that came out during 2013. And that situation was actually more of a retro than it was a restock. So that leads me to wonder for this one in particular, are they gonna be recreating the shoe and calling it a restock now, but it's actually a retro and that's gonna be the situation this fall or is it gonna be an actual restock of the sneaker? So we're gonna talk about how that works in a second. But before that, let's go ahead and hop in the studio so I can give you guys a quick rundown of all the details of the sneaker. All right, so I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times, so let's run through it real quick. Tan outsole, white midsole, more of kind of like a white sail kind of color. You got that black colored stitch matching similar to the swoosh right here. You got the suede on the swoosh. Then you got the paisley print right here around the toe, around the eyelet, and then the back end of the foot. You got a tan suede with your Cactus Jack records right here, kind of embossed into it on the back end. Tan puffy tongue, Cactus Jack branding right here. Dope rope laces. And then you got your plaid print right here on the side of the foot on both sides. Your pink swoosh with the, this is actually, yeah, this is a suede on the pink swoosh as well. And then, um, yeah, you got the paisley print on the insole. 
and these come with additional laces. You got black laces and more of that pink colored lace. And then one detail that a lot of people love on this shoe, you can actually take the Paisley print off. It's a Nike SB, so it's really meant to be skated in. And as you skate it, the material will come off and there'll be a whole nother print below. So I'm gonna post some images on the screen right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about when it comes to that. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like the natural print that it comes with or do you like the print that's underneath it? Would you customize this? Have you customized these? I know people do have these as watching this video as well. So I would love to hear what you guys just thought about these are. Again, like I said, I just recently got these. So I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do with them yet, but I know for a fact, I'm definitely gonna be rocking these things. Now, when it comes to restocking this sneaker, this is some of the questions that draw into my mind. And maybe you guys have other comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment section. The Travis Scott stuff. We haven't seen restocks, but some of the releases have been kind of interesting. And when companies buy inventory to sell them at their stores, what happens is sometimes contracts can fall through. And next thing you know, the company doesn't pay for that bill or they have to pay a fee or whatever it may be and then nike still has a bunch of this inventory and then they have to send it off to a different warehouse and hold that product and then you'll see a restock later because of those reasons and that's just literally one of the reasons of why something could happen like this which makes me start to think okay was this something that was happening where they were planning on restocking this before but because of the pandemic all these things started to happen and the next thing you know they have production issue with other product that was coming in so they kind of put that on the back burner and then next thing you know two three years go by and they're like you know what we got to get rid of this inventory and make space in the warehouse let's do a restock somebody catches wind of it now that we have a rumor it's all going around and we don't know how many pairs it could be it could be 10,000 pairs it could be 200,000 pairs it was already a limited release and it was hard to get when it did come out so are they saying that you know potentially all the inventory didn't go out and it was only half the inventory or a quarter of the inventory is still left or i don't know we don't know the numbers and this also could be a rumor that's being spread that's allowing people to think oh the travis scott sb is coming out and it's going to be the same one it's just a restock but they're actually like retroing it and recreating it or somebody's building hype around that to then create buzz around it and then months from now let's say two months or so we see another announcement that says hey this is the actual shoe that's going to be coming out in september or the release date is actually in october or whatever it may be so there's a lot of speculation there's a lot of different things there's a lot of hope for a lot of people and i hope that a lot of people can get the shoe as well but we won't know until the time actually comes so everybody's going to be talking about it and you're going to hear a lot of people saying oh it's definitely doing it da, 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 this sort of thing we don't have the facts we don't have the answers we don't know all we can do is talk about it and have our dialogue in the comment section and us make our videos and do those different things so those are some different scenarios on how it could have happened what could potentially happen and what could happen in the future and some things that you could do to prepare for it subscribe to the channel i'll give you guys updates i'll make sure that you guys have what you need if you're part of the community you already know i keep you guys updated as well link down below in the description if you want to be a part of that i always give the early access to information over there and then when the time does come closer to september or we get more announcements with specific release information and where you can get it from whether it may be a restock on sneakers app or local skate shops or whatever it is that's when you're going to really be able to take action on the situation to potentially get the shoe for your collection and get it for retail so i hope this video was helpful and gave you guys a little bit of insight on kind of how restocks work and retros and different things like that if you're kind of new to the game and get a better detailed look at the sneaker i'm happy to finally show you guys these on the channel i've had them for a little bit and hadn't had time to shoot a video so i thought this was the perfect opportunity and i have fun making this video so don't forget to subscribe for more updates and i'll see you guys in another one I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA